Instead of playing politics with Medicare, when is the president going to offer his detailed plan to save it? Tonight would have been a good time for him to do it. Of course, we face other challenges as well. We were all heartbroken by the recent tragedy in Connecticut. We must effectively deal with the rise of violence in our country. But unconstitutionally undermining the Second Amendment rights of law-abiding Americans is not the way to do it. On foreign policy, America continues to be indispensable to the goal of global liberty, property, and safeguarding human rights. The world is a better place when America is the strongest nation on Earth. But we can't remain powerful if we don't have an economy that can afford it. In the short time that I've been here in Washington, nothing has frustrated me more than false choices like the one the President laid out tonight. The choice isn't just between big government or big business. What we need is an accountable, efficient, and effective government that allows small and new businesses to create more middle-class jobs. We don't have to raise taxes to avoid the 